well because they're so beautiful. So first of all, Bravo, I love it because of the chalice and because of how you play them. Mm. Really, really nice. It's, it's such a treat to listen to your pieces. Um, of course, I asked him if he has the whole cycle, and he said that he has the whole cycle. And the, the great thing would be to to listen to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, there is a very strange, you know, Beethoven. Uh, there's Beethoven. Uh, we may find secrets here and there. Mm -hmm. Not perhaps not like Schumann, mm -hmm. um, but we we can find secrets here and there. And so I don't know if you ever thought about the cycle itself. Do mm -hmm. you think it has like a, like a uh, a shape, the shape yeah. of a cycle, or not? It seems so. It, it, it seems, seems like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought about it, but then I mean, did you did you ever find that there's actually a secret key? Oh. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. <laughs> think of, think of, no. uh, is it is that through the temples? Or? Well, no, no, okay, no. It has to be with keys, actually. It oh, to, okay. It has to deal with keys. I, yeah, why, I, why don't we find it? Okay, yeah. So tell me, first is yeah. So first this key. is in G. Yeah, exactly. So G major. Yeah. And that second one. G minor. G minor. Exactly. So we stay here. Yeah. And then. An E flat. Exactly. So what's the interval? Is the. Uh, I guess major third. Yeah, it's a major third. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, and uh, B minor. B minor. What does this mean? Yeah. B minor. It's a major third now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, if, we, if we think about B yeah. as C flat. Yeah. yeah. It's a third major. Yeah. Absolutely. Major third. Go. And then. Uh, yeah. And then go. Yeah. Then you play like, and then. Uh, wow. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> about it probably yeah. because of B minor, which stands yeah, yeah. Like, a, like an unbelievable surprise. Right. It's actually not that much of a right. surprise. Yeah. The only thing he could not write, write a, I mean, he was already you know, seen by yeah. people like crazy, he could not write a piece in C flat minor. Right, right, right. So yeah. he wrote it in B minor. Yeah. It was yeah. probably easier. And also because of, apparently those little pieces were probably a way to like enter in private homes a little bit easier, in an easier way than like yeah. Ninth Symphony or all the last sonatas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, commercially thinking, commercially speaking, yeah. this could bring money yeah, to yeah, the yeah. pockets of Beethoven. So if he would have written something in C flat minor, yeah. nobody would have bought it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And instead, he, he did it. But I mean, there is the shape. So my my advice, of course, this is a masterclass, so it's fine to play just a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Never play them just a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just play the whole thing. Yeah. Because yeah. they're so short and it's, yeah. and it, and, I mean, you, you did amazing things already, mm -hmm. but it's so difficult, right, to mm -hmm. enter and to yeah, enter each one, and, right. and this in each one. Yeah. Um, this. So the, the second thing, the, we spoke a little bit before the masterclass, so we mm -hmm. were speaking about how simple they are. And, mm -hmm. and you realize that, I mean, you don't realize actually when you listen to them, Mm. that they're written after the last piano sonatas mm. and basically this is the last piano piece that he writes. There's, there's actually, um, you know, the Diabelli, they're written a little bit earlier than this, but then there's also, you know, after this he writes string quartets basically. Mm. There's the uh, 133, the, yeah. the Grosse Fuge, the big fugue, mm -hmm. and then 135. There's also a four hands piano version of the fugue, which is oh. Opus 134. Oh, okay. So it's not technically the last piece that Beethoven writes for piano. Yeah. He does this piano version, oh, sure. but it's, it's the ori originally, I mean, the last piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So would you think about Beethoven leaving this mm -hmm. as a testament rather than 111? Ah. Or rather than the Abelli? Yeah. So, we really cannot know if he was planning for this to be the last thing mm -hmm. he wrote. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if we put them together with the last piano sonatas and the Abelli, sure. so, I mean, he, he composed 106 yeah. before this, right. and then he composes this. There's a great phrase by an Italian musicologist that describes, and, and I think it's a good way to describe the bagatelles. Mm -hmm. There, he said like there are little flowers mm. that belong to the same tree mm. yeah. that, that was made by Beethoven with those last piano ah, yeah. So basically we are there, and if you think about yeah. simplicity, yeah. we are there already, I mean, with the Arietta, for instance, in yeah. Yeah. And there's so many similarities, you know, in the sixth when you have Yeah. 
similarities. Yeah. Um, so it, that's why the cycle is, I mean, it's easier to play the cycle because it doesn't seem so short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, speaking uh, like for about each of them, mm -hmm. I love the, the sound that you had in the first one. Mm -hmm. It was really beautiful. We have to keep it simple, as keep it simple as mm -hmm. it ends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I felt that some of the things that you did in order to be mm -hmm. interesting, mm -hmm. and, and I like, I mean, I really like it very much. You're very elegant. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful not to be cheesy. And I'm not yeah. saying that you were cheesy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would do much, much more cheesier, but much cheesier <laughs> than that, I'm sure. But that, that's the danger. We have to try to keep it honest yeah. and simple at the maximum level, yeah. right? So that's the mission for the first one. The pedaling was a little bit invasive. Yeah. Okay. It, sure. Like it was, it was bothering your lines. I oh, think. sure. So it, especially in this first one, you don't need that much pedal. Yeah. Remember, pedal is not was not invented to play legato. Right. And I'm sure there are beautiful hands you can play legato mm. just by playing legato and mm. not trusting the pedal to play legato. Pedal makes. I always say pedal is our vibrato. Mm. We don't have that right. yeah, yeah. and, and I'm mad about pianos <laughs> because we don't have the yeah. I would love to have a yeah. Um But it, it would just, the, the piano would lose its quality. Yeah. But we do have the, the pedal. Yeah. So the pedal, in a way, opens the overtones. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to, to treat the pedal that way yeah. rather than trying to play legato. Because otherwise, yeah. sometimes I felt it was a little bit dirty. I see. Okay. I see. Yeah. Four was beautiful. I love the energy mm -hmm. very much. I love the contrast. When it goes from minor to major, you went like straight. Okay. Yeah, In yeah, that yeah. case, probably yeah. without being cheesy, we have to try to make okay. it to make it like important. Yeah. Yeah. Because even if they're smaller pieces, yeah. they are so important. Right. So such a big change probably needs some preparation. In yeah. terms of spiritual feeling, yeah. I would say, even more than just winning. Yeah. But what you did was like <laughs> going into yeah. into that like completely straight. So yeah. maybe that didn't help to yeah. to to appreciate the transition. Yeah. So sure. just be careful about that. Sure. Um, of course we can be cleaner. Mm -hmm. We have to yeah, of course. <laughs> Some, yeah. something that I noticed and I mean it's very hard to play four right away. Actually yeah. it's very hard to play two of them. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, because two is, is similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, but both both in two and in four, mm -hmm. I would say there are not so many fortissimos. Uh, what I felt is that you were so excited mm. that you wanted to go mm. for it, and, yeah. and so you lost control a little bit of the sound sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So careful about that. The last thing, in general, and then we'll work on it. And I'm sure your teachers already told you, and you know, master public masterclass actually. The, the only purpose of public masterclass is for the teacher and the masterclass to say the same things of the teachers, <laughs> but so that the student understands them. Just they think, oh my god, this is, he's saying, he's telling me the same thing. So, as you know, we have to try to trust the, the composer mm -hmm. very much. Mm -hmm. and, and in a way, what they left us is like a sacred text, mm -hmm. right? So. The text should be there for, for us to try to revive. I mean, without the performer, music, of course, is that. Yeah. But then when you bring it alive, I feel it like a mission. Yeah. We have to put this music, I mean, to bring this mm -hmm. music alive, mm -hmm. right? Probably the way the composer thought about it. Mm -hmm. And so if we change too many things, and mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you change too many things, Mm -hmm. But there are so many little details in the score, yeah. especially in terms of dynamics. Yeah. Uh, for instance, ta -ta 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 for yeah. instance, the first one is fortissimo, yeah. the second one is four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and this didn't come true because yeah. of course you were excited yeah. and you wanted to, to do ta -ta -ti -ta 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 -ta. Yeah. <laughs> and which I, I completely understand. Yeah. But why did a composer like like Beethoven bother mm -hmm. to write fortissimo? Forte. Should we take that into consideration while when we play? Should we yeah. feel that it's something that he really wanted or not? And that's the yeah. you know the secret yeah. of being there. There's a great um, phrase by Schnabel that, that I heard about when I when I was 
studying at Lekoma Academy in Italy, which mm. uh, taught, mm. I, I mean, this phrase still is up in the air there, which I think is, is very interesting for, for all of you guys. He used to say, um, the musician is like a mountain guide. Mm. He knows the secrets to, to bring, I mean, to accompany guests to the top of the mountain. Mm. And, but after he gets to the top of the mountain, he steps back. Mm. And he leaves the mm. people enjoy the, lands, the landscape that they see mm -hmm. below them. Mm -hmm. Think about this. The musician is like a mountain guide who knows the tricks. So, musician, he knows how to deal with the score. Mm -hmm. He brings this music, he gives this music to the people. Yeah. Right? It gives access, basically, yeah. to the music, to the people. But then, when he does it, he doesn't put himself in front. Yeah. But he just thinks that that's the music. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. So, and in a way, this is, this is so hard. Mm -hmm. Because at, at the same time, if you, I mean, if you literally do this, you're going to lose your personality. Mm. Right? Mm. And we don't want to do that. But how do you find the balance between your personality and what is written in yeah. the score? That's our mission. Yeah. Which means, the first thing that I, that I would do and that I usually do when I, when I do concerts, it, this is always happening to me, when I play, like, for instance, a recital for many times, mm -hmm. and, and you don't use the score anymore, mm -hmm. then one day you go back and, and let's, let's take a look and you are horrified <laughs> by how many things you for, you're forgetting. Yeah. It's like, I feel ashamed mm -hmm. all the time. And this is normal, mm -hmm. because we're humans, we forget things. So, my question to you is, do you do that? Do you go back to the score sometimes when you practice? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I do, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's important that we do, but if you did it, really, you would not forget Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. we have to be careful about doing it really and about meaning it. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So, so that then you can try to find the balance between you and the composer. Especially, I would say, especially with classical, I mean, classical yeah. period. Yeah. And especially with, I mean, Beethoven. Mm. Another phrase by, by Schneider, sorry, just came to my mind. He used to say something like Mozart is a garden, Schubert is a forest that, uh, that has light and shade. Yeah. Yeah. Beethoven is a mountain range. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're, you're you know, in front of something that you cannot really vision in one idea. It's so complicated. Yeah. There's so many things going on. Yeah. And even if those are little things, we have the mission. I mean, we have to feel the mission to do that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. let's go back now. Let's play a little bit. Now, the first time, I love your speed, Andante con moto, which yeah. I think is. Perfect, it's walking, it's Komoto. I wonder how you translate it, because I'm sure it's not a Google translate. Oh, the... Uh, the Cantabile of course, you know, but yeah. what about compiacevole? Even Antonio so, and I would have problems with oh, compiacevole. Yeah. Friendly or uh, something, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of boring. Something, something. So, <laughs> yeah, piacevole is actually pleasant, but uh, compiacevole... So, when a person in Italian you say, mi compiaccio, yeah. It means that I'm so full of myself that I like it so much. I mean, I'm liking so much. Yeah. I'm liking so much what I'm playing yeah. that I'm compiacere myself, which yeah. means I, I, I know that I'm the coolest guy. Yeah. Playing the <laughs> best. So now I don't know if he he, he meant that. Mm -hmm. Of course, he was German, so mm -hmm. I don't think he really knew Italian. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sometimes with Scriabin, you. Know, First, it's trattenendo instead of trattenendo. Oh, wow. They, they misspelled it. <laughs> anyway, it, I don't know if he meant that, mm. but if we try to find, I mean, I, if I try to find an explanation for that, mm -hmm. if he meant that, it means that you are actually inside the music so much that you, that you like it. You, you're not feeling external need. Mm -hmm. You don't feel the need to be expressive mm -hmm. right? because you're already expressive mm -hmm. right? yeah. so I would say if we if we try to keep it intimate mm -hmm. 
And, and of course, in, in, in general, our mission is to, you know, bring bring music um, to the other side of the stage. Yeah. You know, and, uh, even almost like there's a line on the stage, mm -hmm. and we have to cross it. Mm -hmm. And in this case, why don't we try to be even more intimate than that, mm -hmm. without the need to think, let's reach them, especially like in an intimate setting like sure. this. I think you can have you can try to almost like you know like Richter used to mm. to play. Mm. Yeah, have you ever Very, seen yeah. with the light with the little oh, light yeah, on the piano yeah. instead of like big light on stage? Yeah. Try to feel like Richter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're you have just a little lamp yeah. and you have a little light and you're by yourself and you're playing this mysterious yeah. simple tune. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is like the simple yeah. Yeah. Simple it gets, right? Yeah. But, it, but, but it was so revolutionary. Mm. Treat it like it would be a revolutionary idea. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Even if it's so simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're by yourself. So I, I <laughs> want to let's see how how you do that. like middle range mm. of piano where you know that you're safe mm. and I'm not saying this is but this is like the worst oh, yeah. you find this like safe zone yeah. where there's this neutral piano ah. and it's like saying I'm safe uh, nobody's going to attack me yeah <laughs> but at the same time I'm not going to lose anything yeah because it's like a neutral piano ah. I'm not brave enough yeah to go to down if I want. Interesting, yeah. And then I keep it like this, you know, it's like it's like MP3 versus wave. <laughs> right. You're, yeah. you, you feel that this is compressed and you're in the safe zone. Yeah. Now, he, play, he writes piano dolce, so mm -hmm. I'm not saying that he should be pianissimo, but then he writes a big crescendo, mm -hmm. which doesn't go anywhere, but I mean, it is a crescendo. Then he has a hairpin, mm -hmm. which is unusual mm -hmm. for Beethoven. Mm -hmm. You know, usually he goes yeah. that direction and then it drops. Ah, sure. In sure. this case, he doesn't. And then again, same thing, piano, yeah. then crescendo, and then hairpin going to piano. Yeah. So maybe the second time, I would probably go even less, uh, so that maybe you can do the crescendo in a different way. I mean, sure. be, yeah. be experimental yeah. with your sound. Mm -hmm. And now I will ask you to do this, yeah. I'm sorry if I, if I mean yeah. with no pedal. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I think that yeah. still you trust it too much. Okay. Yeah. And, and there's a way seems to be kind of um, superficial, like ice skating, okay. instead of yeah. Thing. This mm -hmm. is really positive. 
And are we done already? My God. Oh, yeah. Did I speak too much? I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> so, can we try? Can we try? Not because it's a bad thing, but look into, into what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And tell me if you're trying really to connect knots. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially with your left hand. I feel that like your left hand is not there yet yeah. in terms of connecting. Correct, yeah. yeah. Voices. One is repeating, yeah. and the other one is not. Right. Which one has to be the gato? The, the one that's not repeating. Of course, yeah. because then the repeating note there's nothing. Even if you're a wizard, you can yeah, right. you can try on the double escapement. Yeah. Right. But mostly we have to. So yeah. trust this. Trust it. Yeah. somebody like you, which is so talented, who is so talented, to do the right crescendo as it's written. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's important. So basically it's just little things. Yeah. Your beautiful playing can be just, mm -hmm. I think, uh, even more appreciated mm -hmm. if you try to do the pedal, yeah. legato, score. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you.